little bit about the event last night? Um, yeah, the event was awesome. You know, it was my annual bowling bash that I do every year to, you know, uh, raise money for my Young Game Changer YGT Foundation. Um, it was great. Everybody showed up, you know, this team, the whole staff, uh, even had a, a surprise guest, uh, Isaiah Thomas, showed up as well. So it was cool, you know, it was a great night for us to be together for a great cause. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun. What did that mean to CIT? It means a lot. You know, me and IT have been here, um, you know, battling for the years we did. And it's, you know, with me and him, it's always been more than just on the court. You know, I look at IT as a brother and, you know, um, you know, just keeping up with him um, all after all those years and, you know, staying in touch. So it felt good to, to see him here. So I had no idea that he was even coming. So, you know, the fact that he took time to, to show up here means a lot. Marcus, who won the competition now that Mookie Betts is gone? <laughs> Actually, I don't know who won. Nobody, nobody said it. All the guys didn't want to didn't want to say what they got or what they bowled. So I take that as a sign that they didn't do too well. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's always a lot of trash talking. You when you got a bunch of guys who are competitive like we are. It don't matter what you put us in. It could be rock paper scissors. We're gonna be competitive. We're gonna talk a lot of trash. So that's just what it is. It's, it, it, it's great fun. It's all. So we'll take it in and give it that. How have you seen Jason Say that again. Jason's defense. How have you seen over the last few days? A lot, man. He's grown from that little... How is he still? 19? We still call him 19? <laughs> That's what we still doing. That little 19-year-old kid who came in with no muscle, you know, scared to get touched. Uh, and uh, now, you know, he's embracing every contact, both on offense and defense. And, you know, he's really taking that challenge and taking pride. You know, he jokes with me every day that uh, if I wasn't on the team, he would be the best defender. So, you know, uh, I like that attitude and mentality. You know, when you have a guy who can go out and get you 40, and then also plays the defense and, you know, tries to stop his guy from getting 40, that just makes it that much better. Are there kind of pointers you gave him on that end when he got into the league? Yeah, I tried to. You know, he didn't want to listen. He felt like he knew everything. He felt like, you know what I'm saying, I'm not going to be playing too much of defense, so uh, I don't really get it. But, no, he, he, he accepts it, you know, and that's the thing about JT that makes him great is, you know what I'm saying, he's real coachable no matter what. You know. He's a guy, he's a superstar, but he's still willing to learn from others um, and take what we, what we do well and try to implicate it to his game. But did he say that he's the best defender on the team or if you no, were on no, the team? No, 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 no. Okay. If I wasn't on the team, he said he'd be the best defender, so. As long as I'm here, according to him, he's second best. So we'll take that. Marcus, how unique is this uh, Nuggets team to defend with a guy like Jokic? Very unique. You know, they're shooting the ball very, very well. And, you know, you got a player like Jokic that's coming in and doing what he's doing, um, almost averaging a triple double every game. And the way he plays, you know, he really, he really makes you make you think and makes you really have to, you know, put on your A game. You know, he's going to come out and challenge you. You know, in every aspect of that game on offense, he's going to pass the ball, he's going to score the ball, he's going to make you, uh, you know, really, really get in your defensive scheme, get into your bag, and really come up with some things to try to stop him in his team. So, you know, we really got to be connected out there tonight. And it's going to take all five of us against him. You know, and it's never team. They're really good and they're playing really well. Monday's game, it looked like Jason was almost kind of playing that role, and Rob role, just kind of, you know, I see different ways you're able to use him on that end of the floor. Is that something you noticed in that game, too? Yeah, I mean, you know, his, his six nine, he's long. You know, that's that makes for a great defender. You know, you know, you got height like that, you can't teach it. You know, you don't need a lot. You know, just a little bit of effort gives you a long way. So, for him, you know, to be able to roam and, and use his length to his advantage and for our advantage is something that's big. For him. What do you think from Jamal on film? Is he back, Yeah, I mean, he's not a hundred percent back, but he's very close. And we've all seen the dunk against OKC. We've seen the way he's been coming out and playing and the way he's been shooting the ball. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, even even the less 100% Jamal is still a scary person to, to play against. So, you know what I'm saying? Don't take that for granted that you know, he's not 100. Uh, you know, we don't want tonight to be the night that he turns out to, to, to get back into his groove of uh, being the person he was before he was injured. So, you know, and like I said, he's still a great player, even though he's not 100%, and we got to take that into account. Last couple of years, you guys have changed up your defensive scheme coming into the season. It took a bit of time to adjust. What I guess, what are the things that you need to figure out as a team over those first few weeks to kind of get locked in? Um, just the timing of things, you know, the timing. Um, so just certain things uh, that we put in that, you know, it's kind of just on the fly calls and it's kind of just a read from us. So, you know, learning your guys, learning what, you know, their, their strengths and their weaknesses on both ends of the floor. 
um, learning, you know, where they like to be and what positions they like to be in at the certain times. And understanding, especially on the defensive end, understanding that who you're supposed to switch with, who you can switch with, and, you know, when you can take a gamble or not, um, who's on the game with yourself. Um, you know, all that goes into those first couple weeks. And, you know, it's, it's, it's one thing to come out here and practice and do it, but, you know, game real time, game time, it's, it's a lot different because um, you got other guys thinking differently than your teammates. So um, to be able to have those few weeks, uh, uh, we don't take that for granted. When you guys are deep dropping, teams are trying to go away from the middle of the floor so you can really send help. So how do you counter that when they're trying to force more towards the wings? I don't want to give too much away, do we? Uh, but no, nah, you know, you just you read just like any other game. You know, you got to adapt. You got to adapt to your surroundings and your situation. You know, um, one thing is telling us we'll adapt and we'll figure away. You know, Joe and his coach staff does a really good job of figuring those things out for us. And, uh, you know, for me, it's the related message on the floor to my guys. Marcus, your assist to turnover ratio over the last three games, 34 to 4, I believe. Is that, um, are you putting an emphasis on distributing and running this offense in that way? Yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to be the point guard, you know what I'm saying? Um, take my shots when it's there, but, you know, just get, get my guys a lot of easy shots, uh, make the game easier for us. Um, you know, just getting back into shape as well. Um, you know, running up and down the floor trying to, you know, push the pace. You know, like I've always said, we got two two wings in Jalen and Jason that, you know, can do some damage in open court. So we need to get those guys out to run, and it's my job to do that. Are you seeing things open up? Definitely. You know, those guys have been doing such a great job that, you know, um, the floor has opened up even more for me to really create even more, uh, not just for myself, but for those guys. So, you know, as long as we keep running, we keep getting to our space and you know, just, you know, playing off one another, I think it's going to continue to be this way.